Death is sometimes seen as a heavy subject, but here in Tucson, Arizona, they take a celebratory approach to honoring their loved ones. Through the largest day of the dead celebration in the country, the All Souls Procession uses creativity and artistry to unite the community. This is the All Souls Procession. I'm diving into the heart of the Sonoran Desert to meet up with two local women from the Homicide Survivors Organization to create custom makeup art and honor their past loved ones. Yeah. How's it going? Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you. Come on in, you guys. I met up with Nicole and her daughter Evie at the downtown Clifton Hotel to learn about her story of losing her father seven years ago. She showed me photos of her dad and courageously shared his story while she told us what it feels like to walk in the All Souls procession in his honor. The first time that I walked, it was just really quiet. Like, there was a lot of noise, but it was still quiet. It became a family. Okay, so this is the school that I've drawn up. Oh, that's so beautiful. So this is my idea. I'm so excited. It's really fun. I'm so excited, too. We were connected to Nicole through the Homicide Survivors Organization here in Tucson, where they provide an amazing supportive community for survivors and family members. Art and creativity can be such an impactful and healing form of expression, so I knew I wanted to incorporate elements from Nicole's memories of her father into our look. She shared his love for drawing flowers and his obsession with Dodger Blue, so I wanted to make sure I used those elements in the makeup. I wanted to dive face first into the flavors of Tucson that make this community so special. We explored Barrio Viejo, where historic homes are painted vibrant, bold colors, immediately inspiring me for the colors we'll use to design each makeup look. Maybe one of the most iconic aspects of Tucson are the gigantic saguaro cactuses. Tucson actually has the largest concentration of these plant creatures on the entire planet. We took in the historic flavors of Tucson, as the city is an UNESCO site of gastronomy. Then it was time to head over to the legendary Hotel Congress to meet up with Frances, another amazing woman from homicide survivors who lost her son a few years ago. Frances shared her son's love of the color red, his passion for exploring the outdoors, and how much he loved a mountain here in Tucson. We laughed and cried and connected for hours on how crazy this life is and how thankful we were to meet one another and share these moments together. We left Frances feeling so honored to celebrate her son Christopher through this meaningful makeup look inspired by her memories of him. Now it was time for the event that both women had told me so much about, the All Souls Procession. This procession is the largest Dia de los Muertos celebration in the entire country. Over 150,000 people gather from all over the world to honor their past loved ones. The energy here was profound. Watching so many people share their stories with photos, songs, and dancing, all of the emotion just surrounded me. I stood in the middle of the crowd for a moment and I could feel the tangible love and simultaneous loss fill the air like an energy you can hold. As we reached the end of the procession to witness the final ceremony, I reflected on the past two days with these women and the thousands of people around me all gathered for the same reason. I realized how special it was that something as heavy as death could be as cathartic and healing when art, community, and creativity all come together.